So this was just a dramatized example of what happens to the people stuck in floods. For many, it's a spine-shivering thought, and the rest find it is unimaginable. Such unimaginable situations, however, exist in real world. But what are floods? Floods are an overflow of a large amount of water beyond its normal limits, especially over what is normally dry land. The villages had been cut off by floods and landslides, so says the Google. But how real it is? Actually, a very real situation in many parts of our country. Such examples are villages near Kolhapur. Kolhapur is the city of the banks of the Panchaganga River in the southern part of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Kolhapur, an epitome of beauty and richness in the Indian state of Maharashtra, stands tall as one of the most significant cities in the southern Maharashtra. Flooding is not new to the place like Kolhapur that lie in the basin of two major rivers, Panchaganga and Krishna. What changed in the recent past is overdoing of such situations given. Climate change and other factors leading to prolonged period of flooding up to two months. Such situations leave an impact on the people, leaving many homeless, large-scale destruction of fields and loss of income in totality loss of quality life of the villages. A resilient solution to this is proposed by Team Ekatra Sambhav, a shelter for people of Ambewadi, Kolhapur on understanding their problems and providing suitable remedies. The floods cause no safe place to live with the water filling their houses, damage and destruction of other public structures in the vicinity. The shelter, however, is placed at a higher altitude, with a higher plinth and stronger structural system made out of bamboo. Disruption in electricity and insufficiency in supply of cooking fuel. Solar-powered energy with an on-site biofuel plant ensures constant electricity and supply of cooking fuel green and clean fuel. Overflow from storm water drainages contaminate water sources and renders water unstable. The deficit of clean drinking water is created to by use of atmospheric water generator and the water demand is met by using storm water. On-site is managed by canal system and grey water treatment. A large influx of people are required to be rehabilitated. The shelter is designed to accommodate around 3,000 people with its modular building process. It is provided inclusively with universal access ramps and their comfort is ensured by use of ventilation shafts. Loss of source of income and destruction of field during the post-disaster. Financial resilience is ensured by allowing a space for repairing cattle and providing employment through vocational training centers on-site during the non-disaster times. The project is expected to benefit the people of Ambewadi and set as a prototype for other net-zero shelters across the country.